Welcome back to another video everyone. Today we're going to be doing the 750k q and I'm well aware that everybody does these, it's nothing special, but I've been doing them since 5k, since the very beginning, and I'm going to continue to do them. Since you're at 750k already, do people recognise you on the streets of Britain? It doesn't happen very often, the last time it happened was about a month ago in H&M. It's always in the most random places too, like it happened in co-op. Uh, it even happened at SeaWorld when I was in the US. Like the guy at SeaWorld recognised me on the way in, and then he actually came up to me and told me on the way out so it doesn't happen very often and i never really know what to do when it does happen because i never expect it what are your thoughts on self-improvement youtubers saying to stop video games entirely so i am a big fan of self-improvement i am because i mean there's nothing what isn't there to like about it the whole thing is about improving yourself and becoming better and i do watch quite a few self-improvement youtubers but i don't blindly follow everything that they say i'm not going to drop video games entirely just because some guy on the internet who doesn't even know i exist told me that I should. Because in my opinion, the same thing goes for watching TV or watching a movie or watching sports. Any of these things, you don't get anything from them other than enjoyment, which in my opinion makes it worth it. I know a lot of these channels also go about the whole idea that you should not be enjoying any moment of your 20s. You should be working every living second of the day. You should be working towards your future so that when you're 30, 40, you can retire early or whatever. Enjoy things then and work now. That, that's what a lot of them believe. I do agree to a certain extent, but I think there's definitely time that you can spend playing a video game or watching a TV show or watching a movie or doing anything that you don't really benefit from other than enjoyment. You're gonna go out tomorrow and get hit by a bus and die. You don't know if that's gonna happen or not, so you might as well enjoy things while you're here. It's a bit dark to think about, but no matter how healthy your lifestyle is, you might get an illness in five years and die. Enjoy things while you're here, even if it's something as simple as playing a game. And on top of that, I feel like there's plenty of time to play a video game and also get any other productive thing done in your day. A lot of these channels talk about it in a sense that you can't do both at the same time. As long as you're going to the gym, getting studying done if you're at school, getting work done, working on whatever it is that you need to do, getting anything done that you need to do in your day, there's nothing wrong with playing a game. That's my take on it. I know a lot of these channels are very hardcore and every moment needs to be spent working, but I just disagree with that. I think if video games are taking away from you going to the gym, if it's a distraction and you're really addicted to them and it's stopping you from studying and you're just sort of staying up all night, you're not getting enough sleep, then yeah, quit them. Stop playing them or cut down on them. Probably it's best to quit them, you know, while you get your life back on track. So yeah, I do like self-improvement channels, but I don't just completely agree with everything that they say. What's your diet? My diet currently consists of eating whatever I can, just as much as I possibly can, because my goal right now is to gain weight. I've always been skinny. I am definitely bigger than I used to be. So there are set foods that I eat every single day, uh, no matter what, but there are also just random things that I'll pick up and eat if they're there. Do you miss school? Sometimes I will think about the good memories at school, you know, like pissing around with friends, funny moments and whatnot, but then I'll remember all the crap things about school and having to wake up early five days a week having to go to school five days a week, having to be there, having to be around, you know, certain teachers and people. And yeah, no, I definitely don't miss it. Um, I don't need to do any of that now. And I'm glad that I don't. Anytime I think about missing school, I always remind myself that I only missed the good funny moments, which were very few and far between. Why did you start working out? I just don't feel comfortable in shirts. I'm not trying to be ultra shredded. I definitely don't want to be fat or anything, but I do want to put on weight and more muscle than I do right now. Do you plan to sell your games? Nope. I mean, I've not got the biggest game collection of all time, but I don't plan on selling what I do have. It's funny because we actually have two comments in a row here from different people that are asking, how big is your forehead and how is your forehead? So I don't know if you meant to ask how big is my forehead as well, or if you're just asking how it's doing. It's doing all right, I think. I mean, I've not asked it how it's feeling recently. How big is your forehead now? You say that as if it's expanding, like ever growing. I think it was in my 30k video where I measured it with a tape measure. I'm not doing it again because ultimately it's not going to have changed. And if it is changed, then it's only gotten bigger. And if it's gotten bigger, that will make me depressed. Are you ever going to attempt the Halo 2 Legendary No Death series again? No. Probably not. No, two years ago I did that series and I made it like halfway through and then there was just that one mission where I got to the very end and I kept getting killed every single time because it was based on luck. And why should I put myself through that again? I did the whole level perfectly strategy. You know, I made a whole strategy up for every section of the level. I got to the very end and then there's a stupid boss battle Prophet of Regret based on luck that drops me off in a pool of elites with swords that insta-kill me. Why should I... 
The, the whole level took like an hour, 40 minutes or whatever to complete. And I'm not going to go through that again. And it only gets worse in future levels. So no, I won't be doing that. Maybe one day. Because I, I will admit I was watching it back a few days ago. And I, it was entertaining. I, I feel like I, I wanted to do it again. But actually doing it and watching it back is just, it's not the same. Are you still dating the Minnesota girl? I mean, she does have a name. I am. The Minnesota girl just left after being here for six months. How do you feel about the la Halo 2 lasso completion? So I did make a video saying that the challenge was impossible. But what? I really meant by that is it's like it's one of those impossible challenges that only two or three people are ever going to complete like the dark souls or the whole uh souls born game no hit challenge like that is impossible only one person two three people have ever done that so yeah javelin did complete it he's one of the only people that will ever complete it it's a massive achievement it's literally one of the greatest video game achievements of all time what are you going to do for one million Oof, i don't know i mean one million has been my biggest goal on youtube ever since i started i started posting videos when i was 15 i'm 23 now just turned 23 and it's been my goal ever since that golden plaque is something i've wanted so it will really call for a special special celebration but yeah, I'd probably do a Q&A. Mackie's order. Well, if it's before 11 a.m., I'll have four to five cheese and bacon flatbreads. These are the pinnacle of McDonald's breakfast. Anything else sucks complete fucking donkey's ass. The bacon cobs with ketchup, probably the next best thing. Anything after that, honestly, it's just depending on what I feel like. What year would you travel to if you could time travel? I don't know, but I'm not even going to answer that question. I'm going to completely make it a new question. Like when a question. I always think about what it would be like to relive life from a certain year, but you retain all of your memories and knowledge from however old you are when you get transported back. So I'm 23. Now imagine if I get transported back to when I was 10 years old, but I have all the knowledge of me as a 23 year old. Granted, I'm not a genius, but like all the memories of what happened yesterday and the day before and over the past 10 years. But now all of a sudden I'm back in 2010 and we have all those years to live out and I know exactly what happens through them. That would just be really cool, wouldn't it? Like to be able to relive those years. No, you could go and win the lottery. You could bet on sports matches that you know what the outcome is. Perfect outcome. What's your opinion on pineapple on pizza? I think I did a video reviewing a Domino's ham and pineapple pizza and I thought it was fucking amazing. In fact, I just had one. I think two days ago now. I'm a fan of it now. Like before I hadn't tried it and I was a hater of it because I just didn't think it worked very well, the idea of it. But then I actually tried it and then I found out that I liked it and I'm not gonna continue hating on it just because it's the popular thing to do. Do you have gyno? I've only just discovered this based on, you know, as I've been working out more and I've been watching more working out videos. So I was very surprised to find out that I don't have it because of how many people do. I don't know the exact cause of it, to be honest. I think there's multiple reasons, but right now, I don't have it. I've got my own other things to deal with. Not really a question, but you should do a room tour. I'll give you a half-assed room tour, right? Because I've already done one before. I'll give a quick narration, then later on I'll take the camera and actually go around my room. So we've got my bed over here, right? Go over to the left, got my computer, got my desk with my uh, two monitors on there. You know, got my consoles, games, shelf. A lot of people wonder what this uh, thing over here is, this uh, containment box. It's a spider. When my girlfriend was here, she is interested in all that kind of stuff. She wanted a pet spider, so we got a jumping spider. And now she's gone. I'm the one who needs to feed a damn spider and look after it. But you know what? It's a cute spider and I care for it a lot, so I don't mind. Have you ever thought about quitting YouTube at some point? Nope, never. Um, even the past like six months where for some reason my channel just started, yeah, I don't know, it just stunted in growth for some reason. Recently it's gone back up by quite a bit over the past three weeks or so. It wasn't dipping too much, it's just that there was no one like being recommending my videos, so there's not many new people coming in. So it was just sort of evening out, like the amount of people unsubbing was sort of outweighed by the amount of people subbing, so it's just sort of staying where it is. Because people unsub from channels all the time, that's a normal thing. I unsub from channels that I haven't watched in years and they just pop up on my feed, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna unsub from this channel happens to everyone but you just don't notice it for the most part because there's more people subbing if you ever watch like a youtuber's live count you'll see it go down multiple times but even then as frustrating as that was whether it be my own fault or you know maybe youtube not showing videos or whatever it is i never felt like quitting youtube over the eight years or seven years whatever it is so with that being said i want to thank you all for 750k because we finally got there and i will not stop making videos i won't even during a slow period on the channel i will not stop making videos ever we will get to a million at some point that could be i mean youtube is a really crazy place you could go through slow growth and then one video you make could go viral and you could gain 300k in a month we only need 250k more 
we've done that three times already i can do it again so thank you all for all of your support it means everything to me every single person that watches my videos likes them comments on them shares them whatever it is that you do thank you all so much with that being said thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed definitely subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you all in my next video Thank you.